Hello and welcome here. One of the most eagerly awaited online series of 2023 is without a doubt Marvel's Secret Invasion. The MCU has never seen any of the elements or references in this TV show. We are introduced to the Saber Battle Station, which is also shown in the Marvel's trailer, to mark Nick Fury's homecoming. In addition, Super Scrolls are introduced to us, a character who has only ever appeared in comic books or animated films and receives little attention in live-action Marvel films. With that, the question arises, what are Super Scrolls? But first, what exactly are Scrolls? Let's learn everything there is to know about Super Scrolls in Secret Invasion in this video. So we know that Scrolls are shape-shifting creatures from the MCU that have the ability to entirely replace humans since they can mimic any human's identity, including memories. Scrolls are also far stronger than humans, and as such, they might pose a threat to the human species. The Scrolls were first introduced in the March 2019 release of Captain Marvel and were portrayed in a positive light. After their home planet Skrullos was destroyed, Carol Danvers helped them find a new residence. Marvel's secret invasion follow-ups to Nick Fury's pledge of finding the Skrull population a new home and his inability to do so. Fury has been seen to be gone from Earth, spending his time aboard a space combat station dubbed Saber. Skrulls, who were initially portrayed favorably, have now turned against the human populace. They have established a militia-like organization in Russia, proving to be the potential menace Fury said they may be. They were shown carrying out terrorist acts while posing as Americans from the Extreme Americans Against Russia group in the first and second episodes of Secret Invasion. The rogue Skrulls are attempting to ignite a third world war between the United States and Russia, which would raise the risk of a nuclear conflict that may obliterate the human race. So what exactly are the Super Skrulls? In issue number 18 of the Fantastic Four, published in 1963, Super Skrulls made their debut. Super Skrulls were basically Skrulls augmented with superpowers imitating the Fantastic Four in order to destroy them and take control planet Earth. In Secret Invasion, we get to see Marvel Studios' live-action take on this premise. In the second episode of the show, there is a scene when we see Rosa Dalton, a scientist, working on a machine. Later on, we see Olivia Colman's character Sonya Falsworth questioning a Skrull who was apprehended after detonating a bomb in the heart of Moscow. The Skrull who was kidnapped reveals to her that Gravik, the Skrull's commander, is creating a contraption that would strengthen and improve their skills. We also see Gia, Talos' daughter, snooping around on a Skrull computer and finding a database with DNA samples from various creatures. The creatures include Groot, Frostbeast, and Cull Obsidian. This device makes a clear allusion to the development of the Super Skrulls in comic books. While it's intriguing to see how the Super Skrulls were created in the MCU in live action, it's also noteworthy how Marvel was able to adapt the story without losing the character's essence. According to Marvel Comics, Super Skrulls were enhanced Skrulls who were granted superpowers by the use of technology. Clerk the Super Skrull, who was scientifically improved to match the abilities of the Fantastic Four, was the first Super Skrull. The article we wrote specifically regarding Super Skrull abilities is available here. A squad of superheroes nicknamed the Immortals traveled to Skrull Throneworld to warn them to not infiltrate the Earth but were caught by Skulls there. The Immortals were then subjected to torture, and aliens used all of their abilities to improve the Super Skrull program, which led to the development of a number of enhanced Skrulls that could attack Earth. Let's also talk about Super Skrulls' potential future in the Secret Invasion. Marvel's Secret Invasion has been successful in holding viewers' attention with everything it has to offer. It has been a pleasure for the audience to watch as well as for me personally to experience the element of tension, thrill, and comedy with a wonderful combination of action. This raises the question of what function Super Skrulls might have in the MCU as a whole after their introduction. Super Skrulls have played a huge part in the Marvel books but they haven't yet been introduced into Marvel movies to that level. The Fantastic Four or perhaps the Immortals may experience a canon event as a result of the introduction of Super Skrulls in the MCU, providing viewers a live-action take on these superhero ensembles that is officially part of the MCU. Remember watching John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness? All we can do for the time being, however, is wait and see what Marvel has in store for the audience in the larger context of the MCU. Let's just relax now and take it all in as we wait for more to come. Till next time, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.